What up everyone, it's Kirtan Singh and today I'll be going over my latest short film, A Changing Perspective. So this short film was actually made during the April period of 2020 in isolation. I made it with my sister starring as Tali Kaur and my father as a lecturer. So I just made a simple short film with my family. So let's get started. So opening up on the film, we open with the email accounts and I created all the text for these emails and there's a reference to my friend. There's a different layouts here, which are based on real life email accounts. And then what I have is a email from the chancellor with a proper email. It talks about education, talks about everything being taken online. And it's what triggers Tali to go down this state into this really lazy mood. And in this montage itself, you see her wear the clothes that are more darker and she just leaves them on her bed. She eventually kicks them off and she's just in a more lazy state. You can even see it with the, the turban she's tying. It's much more simpler now. Until we fade out into the next day or so, what we have is the first online class. And Tali is struggling to wake up because you get into this mood where you just can't get out of bed. Especially for these practical classes, it's much more difficult. So what you have is Tali not paying attention in class. You see that the pen's there, the book's there, nothing's written down. You see there's beauty in front of her with this natural leaf there, but she's not watching it. She's ignoring it. She's still on her phone. And the moment the lecturer says, ends the class, she's out of there. She just wants to go lie down, relax, be on her phone. And when we get to these next few shots real quick, I love it because we had the one source of lighting as the window itself, and it gave off this really beautiful light reflecting on her face and the surrounding environment on this day, which was really good. Um, and then we get to her scrolling through Instagram. I'll pause it real quick on this message as we have Tali going over the message. So that way we highlight it for the audience. What this message talks about is that someone in Tali's class named Sarah is being productive with her time using the skills she's so far learned in uni at the start of the year to use in getting some work done. And this is what really tips Tali off the lazy streak she's on. Uh, what we have here is a picture of Aragami and I'd just like to thank my friend Mihak for actually letting me use her imagery here. She gave me a few sketches. I created this fake account, Sarah. Um, the first and second name is a reference to two of Mihak's friends. And then we see that Tali changes upon seeing this. What initially was planned was that Sarah would have a few lines of dialogue in the lecturer scene. But then I found that that scene kind of dragged on. So it's easier just to have the lecturer explain a few things, focus more on Tali and just keep it as short as possible. So as we continue, we get this really nice shot of the mirror reflection, which I think my sister did a really good job here where she like teases she's going to look at the mirror, but then looks back down and then finally looks at the mirror. She really looks like she's contemplating what is she doing with my, herself? What is she doing with her time? She shouldn't be this way. And we have the quick shots of her getting out of things, changing her clothes, and we go into this overexposed next few shots, which I really like because overexposing makes it feel like you're in this bright heavenly place that you're a reformed person. And that's what you're trying to get across here because she's wearing even lighter clothes, light blue, the same turban she was wearing at the start of the film when she was productive. She's back into that mood, except even better now. So I'm gonna pause it real quick here on this blank slate, what I love about this one shot, it's easy just to have a blank wall and just show that, but I put that little bracket there to add perspective so that way when you see a shot of Tali from behind, you can also see the bracket and you can imagine where she's looking. So it helps put the shot in perspective, but it also acts as a blank canvas, which is what Tali is going to draw on right now. And she's going to fill this blank canvas with her own illustrations. So as we have her drawing, we have the shot from behind. Here you can see art on the left, the whiteboard now has writing on it. Even though there's a little messy with a few things on her chair still, a few things on a table just lying about, she's more productive now. And we see the blank canvas of the wall being filled with her art. So there's Miak, special thanks to her for the art and imagery. Special thank you to my father and my sister for starring in this film. It's a simple, short film, but one that I believe really captures what isolation is about and quickly getting through that struggle of being lazy and trying to get into a more productive lifestyle while just being at home and having every opportunity to just lie in your bed, 
be in your phone, watch movies, go on social media. Thank you for watching my breakdown of A Changing Perspective. It's a very simple film to talk about, but maybe if you go back and watch the film a second time, you'll notice a few details which you didn't before, and maybe you'll also look and find some of the references I made to a few of the other pieces of media which I thoroughly enjoy and a few of my friends. So with that all said and done, I hope you've enjoyed this video, and until next time, I'll see you guys.